Okay. 9 squared equals 81. I want to write this as a log. In order to write it as a log, you write the word log. That base of the exponent becomes the base of my log. So basically, I wrote the word log in front. And then I switch these two numbers. So again, I wrote the log, log in front, and I'm switching the 2 and the 81. So if you cover this up, you have 9 squared equals 81. I switch the 2 and the 81 and put a log in front. That's my answer. Number 2. Now, aren't these backwards? Let's first rewrite it. I like to have the power over here. And by the way, is this true? It's 5 to the negative second, 1 over 25. Because yeah. doesn't that drop the power to the bottom? Square it. Okay. Now, if we write the word log in front, what's the base of my log? The 5. And which two are we going to switch? These two. We're going to switch these two. So we have 1 over 25 equals negative 2. There's my answer. It's going to take some practice. Number three, I want to change this into an exponent. So to change it into an exponent, I drop the log, so cover it up. And then I switch these two. So again, I cover up the log and switch the 64 and the 3. There's my answer. And is that true? Is 4 to the third 64? Yeah. For this one, we don't have a base. But what did we say? Actually, right here, what's the base if there isn't one? 10. So let's write a 10 in there. You just assume when there's no base, it's base 10. And then we go, OK, drop the log. So we have a 10. And then switch these two. So switch the 4 and the 10,000. And 10 to the 4th is 10,000. So one part of the homework, you're going to take logs and switch them to exponents, take exponents and switch them to logs. For number 5, you're going to simplify it. So here's what it does. For number 5, we set it equal to x. We're going to try to find out what it equals. Can I change this into an, ex an exponent now? Cover up the log. I now have 4. And then don't I switch these two? Now, hopefully you can use your brain and critically think and go, oh, what's x? You could understand 4 squared is 16. There we go. Next equals something. Cover up the log, put a 5, switch these two. Now for some of you, that's a little bit harder to tell. That's a little bit more difficult, but hopefully you can tell, isn't that 5 squared down here? And if you dropped it from the top to the bottom, doesn't it mean it's a negative exponent? Five so you should hopefully notice it's negative 2. Plus, it's right here. And then he cut off. It's the same exact problem. If you would have looked up there, it's right there. OK, number 7. Um, don't we need a base? What's my base going to be? Base 10. And we want to know what it equals. So I put an x there. If I don't put an x there, it's kind of hard to see. I need something in its place. Last step here. Um, problem is cover up the log. That leaves us 10. Switch these two. Then from there, hopefully you can look at that and figure out what x is. And hopefully you understand that is squared. So x is 2. x squared.